Huh. So what was it about Mr. Wright that made your heart malfunction like that? In my personal opinion, he just looks like a typical snotty-nosed college brat. Perhaps to a woman your age, but to me, Feeney is handsome. Perhaps to you, Miss Hawthorne, but to the rest of the planet? Maybe she is a little bit older, I guess, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. Love is a mysterious thing, and I object to this line of questioning. If you were to look at my wife, for example, you might all be shocked. Uh, in what way? Beautiful mushroom growing tall in the darkness. It comes from cow dung. That's the poem that best describes how I feel about my Feeny. Cow dung. Really nice. Were there any bad feelings between you and Mr. Swallow? No, none at all. We parted on very good terms. But that can't be. Our investigation also shows that it was a clean breakup. Huh? Are you... are you sure? Yes, it seems that they both wanted it that way. So the victim wanted to break up with her. Because apparently she's a bitch. I'm really hungry. I want this case to hurry up, man. I didn't expect... I thought this case was going to be like 40 minutes long. It's getting to the two-hour mark, and I'm like, Jesus, I'm going to go eat. Well, you see... What a cruel thing to ask a lovely young lady like this. By the way, I have never once considered leaving my wife. No one cares, Mr. Payne. She didn't deny it. That must mean... Doug Swallow must have seen through her little act. He must have gotten a glimpse of her true nature. Listen to me, Mia. That woman has the judge in the palm of her hand, you see. So the only way to discredit her is to find a contradiction in her testimony. Okay. That's good. Sure. Paper. That. Didn't she say something about people getting sick? Was that not part of the actual testimony? Whatever. Anyway. The only thing that seems like... Seems like this is the only thing that has any meaning, the reason that she's there. So, I'll present something on that one. Oh, well, it's because, uh, obviously, she says that she's there, she was there for a research paper, but we know that's obviously not true. She was there because of this. Yeah, obviously. Okay, it's actually really simple. Miss Hawthorne, you weren't here because of your research paper, were you? Didn't you actually come here for a much more important reason? What is the meaning of that cocky smile on your face, Miss Faye? Eight months ago, right here in this very courthouse, there was another tragedy. Another tragedy? Do you mean the incident in which an attorney was poisoned? The name of the suspect of that incident is listed here in this report. And that name is... Dahlia Hawthorne. What? Mm-hmm. She was the prime suspect in a criminal case just eight months ago. Order, order, order. This is unbelievable. It's true, then. The loveliest rose can hide the cruelest thorn. Miss Faye, that's not fair. You can't slander my witness with an unrelated case. Um... I, Winston Payne, will not allow it. Mr. Prosecutor, I believe I was speaking. Uh, pardon me. Go right ahead. It's true that about eight months ago, the police expressed some interest in me. Hmm, express some interest, huh? Mr. Judge, sir, I know I'm under oath, so I'll tell you the absolute truth. I did not commit the crime that occurred during that incident eight months ago. I see. Okay, I've tied the two crimes together. Now I've just got to stay on the offensive. Well done, Mia. I'm done with his voice. Fuck this guy. And <laughs> fire in my buttocks. Oh my god. Okay then. More testimony. This case is so fucking long for a first case. I didn't expect to be sitting here for hours. My butt hurts. Just like Grossberg. I met the lawyer who was poisoned to discuss something in the cafeteria that day. I left my seat for just a moment and that's when it happened. 
From what I heard, it was a liquid poison that is lethal at just two teaspoons. Not only that, I heard it was a very special kind of poison. So you see, I'm innocent. I wouldn't even know where to get a poison like that. You sure do know a lot of details about the poison, though. Also, the fucking necklace. That's where it was. It's like Game of Thrones. I referenced Littlefinger before, but it's like the necklace. That's where the poison was. Or was it like a hair thing? I think it was like a hair thing in the books, but it was a necklace in the show. Something. The thing. You know. However, as you've heard from the witness's testimony, she had nothing to do with it. So, we're tying that case into this one, which means we're not going to see that one in full. But Dolly is definitely going to come back later. She has to. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Payne. But I'm afraid the defense has many more tricks up its sleeve today. And I'll be sure to show them to you before the end of this cross-examination. At least, I think so. I could be wrong, but I feel like she has to. Ha, oh, Mia, you're glowing with a true lawyer's aura, my dear. I'm done with his voice. I'm done with it. It hurts. That proud posture and self-confidence, absolutely smashing. Okay. So, I know what I want to say here. Like, I, I know that I want to bring up the necklace at some point, but I don't know exactly when I should do that. So we'll just press everything. <laughs> Shit. What were you taking, talking w about with the defense attorney? Well, I, I'm sorry, but that's confidential. According to the report, you were being interviewed regarding another case. The lawyer that was killed, he said he wanted to talk about an incident I was caught up in when I was younger. Why don't you tell us all about that incident was? What that incident was? That has absolutely nothing at all to do with this case. Objection sustained. The defense's question is stricken from the record. You get involved in a lot of incidents, don't you, Miss Hawthorne? But I guess I was just born under a bad sign. Don't worry, Dolly, I'll protect you. You heard the man. Now that is true lovely, young lady. Oh, Feeny, please. Those two really are making me ill, albeit for decidedly different reasons. We gotta wrap this shit up, man. I'm gonna... I don't want to stop in the middle. I want to complete the whole thing. But it's gonna get to the point where I have to just stop. <laughs> I'll save and quit if I must. If you must know, maybe 10 or 20 minutes? What are you saying, Miss Fay? She doesn't poop. She doesn't use the toilet. She's too beautiful for that. Toilet? My perfect little dolly doesn't poop? <laughs> okay. I didn't think he'd actually say it. And she never said she was pooping. I was joking. You meant it seriously. But it's true. Pretty girls do not poop. That's science. You heard the defendant, Miss Fay. Better luck next time. Judge, you... <laughs> Well, you heard him. He said she doesn't poop. So there you go. Oh, Feeny, please. Don't talk about my poop. <laughs> the police have already looked into this whole matter. We have concluded that Dahlia does, in fact, not poop. Objection sustained. Ms. Tr Ms. Hawthorne, please continue with your testimony. Turns out that's going to be the contradiction. She's going to ask to go to the bathroom, and we're going to be like, I thought you didn't poop. About how much liquid is two teaspoons? Hmm, well, let me see. My bottle of eye drop says it's one half fluid ounce, which is equal to three teaspoons. So it's about two-thirds of that amount, huh? The poison was found in the lawyer's mug of coffee. Must have been after I left the table. Someone must have quietly slipped it in there. A special kind of poison, how so? Well, I heard that it's almost impossible to detect. Oh, and where would something like that come from? I'm sorry, all I know is what I overheard the policeman say. They said something about using advanced chemical processes to purify it. Chemical processes? Well, well, that's quite... impressive. Most impressive. So, Phoenix has been carrying poison around his neck for this whole time. That's good. Good for you, man. And that's the reason they didn't arrest you? Because no one could show how you could have gotten the poison? I think that's a good enough reason, Madam Faye. She's right, and I think we've all had enough of Miss Faye's questions. Uh, so in essence, the main reason Miss Hawthorne was never arrested for this crime was because no one could show how she could have obtained the poison. 
then all we have to do is find a way to establish how she could have gotten some, right? Great, now how did... Uh, now just how did a lit student... That confused me there. Get a hold of poison of all things. Man, fucking... Because she's the kingpin. It's in the necklace. But that's not how she got it. What should I present on? I should probably present on that last that last one. Where she would get it from. Maybe I guess it would be Doug cuz he's a pharmacology student. That's why she was with him, probably to make some shit. She said they would love their drugs or whatever. What? In fact, you had easy access to that kind of poison, didn't you? At your boyfriend's lab. Boyfriend? You mean the victim, Doug Swallow? That's right. Up until eight months ago, Miss Hawthorne was dating Mr. Swallow. And then as soon as that case was done, she didn't even need him anymore, so she dumped him. Then she needed somebody to move the poison to, so she used Phoenix, and she's a cold-hearted bitch. Pharmacology? His laboratory contained highly advanced chemistry equipment. In fact, without such equipment, the culprit could never have obtained such a rare and special poison. Oh shit, this music is different. Miss Hawthorne, seems you had access to such a poison after all. I like the music in the second game better. The music that when it got to this part, I liked it better in that game. It was, it was cool. And then it was a matter of slipping it into the victim's coffee when he wasn't looking. The only person who could have done that was the one sitting at his very table. You. Because in that game, when this music started, I was like, Oh, fuck! And I... Whoa. Alright, blow that dress up. Anyway, I was like, Oh, yes, I got really into it, and I got fucking huffed. I got pumped. got hyped. That's nothing but a baseless act. May I say something, Madam Faye? What is it, Miss Hawthorne? The amount of poison in the coffee was two teaspoons, correct? In order to carry that much liquid, you would need some kind of container. Your necklace! Oh yes, that's true. I was searched immediately after the incident took place. Quite true. In fact, the entire courthouse was turned upside down. But they didn't find a suspicious container anywhere, did they? She's right. They even mentioned that in the report. Well, you could have easily gotten rid of something that small. Excuse me, madam, but this is a court of law. If you're saying I threw the poison container away, I think you need to show some kind of proof. Proof? She got me good with that. Provide some evidence or I'll have to disallow this kind of questioning, Miss Fairy. Unless we can come up with some evidence, we're going to lose this lead. Yeah, let's just get to it. It's fucking obvious. Come on. Come on! Enough! Literally anybody can figure this out immediately. Just let me present it. Well, what happened to it? Well, Jesus. Well... Should I... I guess I can maybe do either one. Because what happened to it is that she gave it to Phoenix, but it is this. I'm going to present this. You were forced to get rid of the container in a hurry, weren't you? And that's why you passed it on to someone that had nothing to do with the case. Someone that you knew wouldn't be searched. Who is this person? Mr. Phoenix Wright, of course. Enough with the objections. No, you fucking dumbass. She gave the poison to him, disguised as a present. What? But, but that's... Hmm, that's a charming little necklace. Is this a little bottle? It's really quite cute. So what about it? What does it mean, Miss Faye? The date that the witness met and fell for Mr. Phoenix Wright was eight months ago. August 27th, the very same day as the poisoning incident. Under the pretense of love, the witness gave my client a present, and her face does look very evil in that picture. All for the purpose of hiding the one piece of evidence that would give her away. What? Are you saying there's a deadly poison in here? No, there's no longer any poison- oh, it's not in there anymore? Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Too bad. Order, order in the court. Um... Enough, Phoenix. On behalf of Dolly, I object. Mr. Wright, control yourself. 
I won't let you bully her like this. Mr. Wright, I thought I told you to stay in your seat. Mr. Wright, why? Why are you going through so much trouble to protect her? Why? Because... Because I'm madly in love with her. Hmm. Madly in love. I haven't heard anyone say that in a long time. Wow, is that like a really deep look into the judge's personal life? That's pretty sad. <laughs> Mr. Wright, have you ever thought about this? Why exactly would a woman like Dahlia Hawthorne want to date you anyway? Well, geez. Yeah, I mean, look at you. I guess she must be madly in love with me, too. Mr. Wright, please, open your eyes. <laughs> That's really cruel. At this point in the trial, I think it should be obvious to everyone. The real reason that Dahlia Hawthorne is dating you is... Yeah. Dahlia Hawthorne was not in... Was not and is not madly in love with you. The only thing she's after is that bottle necklace you love to wear around your neck. My necklace? Back there in the waiting room, you said it yourself. My butt hurts, my throat hurts, and I'm really hungry, and I want this case to hurry up and end. <laughs> but it's really good. I mean, for a, this is definitely the best first case, because the other ones are just simple little tutorials, and this started out that way too, but then it turned into a full-blown huge case. And I can only imagine la later cases are going to be super long, because you're going to have, you know, multiple days and investigations and shit. If just this first case was this long, I can only imagine how long the later ones are going to be. That's why she... I don't... I don't believe you. No! That's a lie! <laughs> Okay, then. Mia, Mia, are you all right? Yes, I... I think so. That boy, he went completely insane. Where... where's Mr. Wright? Wow. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, no. What is it? The bottle necklace. Miss Hawthorne's present. It's gone. What? That's terrible. Mr. Wright must have grabbed it when he slammed into me. Foolish boy. That's the only thing. Phoenix, you fucked up in the past, man. Holy shit. What in blazes are we supposed to do now? Mr. Wright, this sort of behavior is unprecedented in the history of this court. I'm sorry. I'm afraid that your apology is not enough. Mr. Wright, what did you do with the bottle necklace? Forgive me. I... I'm sorry. You motherfucker. Did you just fuck it up? You ate it? How did you do that? I imagine just the bottle part, but still. And if there's poison in there, trace amounts. You never know what that could do. I guess it's not enough. What the fuck? How did you do that? What? 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 